Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Oldham now. Um, this is the end of the season, so just gonna put it out there now. We are going into the championship uh, next year, as you can see here. Um, winning the league on 90 points, seven clear of Bournemouth in the end. Uh, Crawley are actually coming up with us instead of Sunderland. Um, they won in the playoffs, but yeah, we win the league. 25 wins, 15 draws, only six losses. 83 goals for, 37 against, best goal difference in the league, um, which is great. So yeah, I'm just going to take you through how it went, um, fixture-wise, after uh, after January. Let's see where we are here. There we are. Uh, we beat Port Vale 3-0. Um, if we go into this one. Adam Rooney, Afrizanidis and Grandolfo with the goals there. We then had um, the Johnstone's Paint Trophy North final over two legs. Versus Bradford, 2-2 two -two at home. We threw a 2-0 lead away here. Tarkowski and Rooney there, but we threw it away, which was really annoying. Um, we had Swindon after that, 3-0. Uh, Troy Brown with an own goal. Abidiotakis and Morgan with goals there. But we did beat Bradford in the end, 1-0 away. Um, Ryan Moran with a goal right on the edge of half-time, uh, which put us through to the final final sort of thing. We then lost 3-2 to Tramit, which was really annoying. Uh, Nick Morgan with two goals, and they scored right at the end. Um, to well, we we they went one nil up, then we went one one, then they went two one, and then straight after it was two two, and then back again straight away three two, which is annoying. And then we locked, drew one one with Chesterfield. Um, David Foley, Tarkowski for us, and Nick Morgan missed the penalty as well just before their goal, which was really annoying. Rochdale, we beat one nil thankfully though. Uh, Jeff Lewis with a 93rd minute winner. Thankfully. Um, then we had Sheffield United who we beat 3-0. O'Shaughnessy, Afuzanidis and Moran with goals there. We then lost to uh, Crawley 3-2. Um, which was really annoying. Uh, Saville and O'Shaughnessy with our goals. They scored in the 90th minute to give them the win there. Then we had beat Fleetwood 1-0. Um, Nick Morgan with our only goal there. Then we had the Johnstone's Paint Trophy Final versus Bournemouth. Um... And there we go, Abigail with the goal. Who else was it going to be, really? We dominated the match, I think we should have won by more. But there's our first trophy with Oldham. We lift the Johnstone Play Trophy final. As you can see, holders Oldham. That's great, we're not going to be able to play in it next year. So it's great to win it now. We then lost to uh, Sunderland, unfortunately 1-0. Uh, Skapuski, Skabuzzi with their goal. And then we drew 0-0 with Bradford, which wasn't the best. Um even though we had more possession and dominated the stats. Bristol City, we beat 2-0, though, which is good. Um, Tarkowski and Tom Tyro own goal. 3-2 versus Doncaster. Grandolfo, Luke Lewin and Rooney um, giving us the win there. 2-1 versus Hartlepool. Um, Abby Diotakis and Rooney with our goals there as they had a man sent off. Stevenage, we lost 2-1 to, actually. It's quite annoying. Uh, Rooney with our goal there. 1 0 versus MK Dons. Um, O'Shaughnessy with a goal there. He's quite a good centre back, uh, scoring centre back, really. And then last game of the season, we had um, Bournemouth and we won. Well, we didn't win. I mean, we drew 1 1 with the 90th minute uh, equaliser. Um, but yeah, at least we didn't finish it on a loss. Um, but yeah, that's it. Just amazing how we've gone up um, so quickly. If we look at player stats, ABD Attackis was best average rating. O'Shaughnessy was up there too. Games won Ian Turner. Assists, ABT Katakis had 23 at the end of the season, which is great. Um, goals, we weren't up there for it. I think Rooney was a bit far, further off the pace. Player of the matches, ABT Attackis had 11. He's just been fantastic this season. Look at these stats now. He um, broke quite a few records for us now, actually. Um, if we look at Oldham and records. Uh... I think modern day. There we go. Uh, highest average rating. He's won that. And also most assists. He's won that. And I think that was it. But fastest goal. Can got a goal there. Um, but yeah, if we look at the awards for the season, let's go to um, manager of the year. I actually won it, which is pretty good to put on my CV. Um, so that's good there. Player of the year. 
Who else would it be? Abidiotakis, 20 year, years old, 35 appearances, 8 goals, 23 assists. Amazing player. Uh, team of the year, Abidiotakis was there along with um, Tarkowski, O'Shaughnessy and Ian Turner actually. Who, even though he's not got the best rating, he's got some good stats now. Um, 33 years old, so we're looking for a replacement now. Top goal scorer was Lyle Taylor for Bradford with 27 goals. Um, and then Shaquille Coulthurst for Bournemouth, and then Mikhail Smith for Rotherham. So, if we look at the team, even though everyone's left, um, let's look at this, yeah, everyone's stats already. Goals-wise, Adam Rooney, again, a 20-goal season, 22 goals there. Grandofield with 12. Morgan, doing well with 11. He's really improved his stats too, look at that. Lots of blues and reds coming through there now, only 18 as well. Average attacks with 11 goals overall. Rakan with six, O'Shaughnessy with five. Assists wise, obviously Abbey Takis. Robin Yates got seven as a right back though. Them two on the right are just lethal. Uh, Grandofo, Afuzanidis, Smith. Average rating, Abbey Takis. Uh, Chesnitz doesn't really count. O'Shaughnessy, Nick Morgan, Tarkowski. But yeah, um, actually, transfer wise, we do have some players coming in. Um, I think I showed you. Uh, Savitkovic and Tarina and Hartman. We've got two more players coming in. Uh, another Croatian by the name of Dado Marcic, a uh, centre back from Hajduk. Got some good tackling, good marking, got some really good blue, blue stats. He's only 20, so hopefully he can do well for us. And then also um, Takis Papoulis, a centre back from Panathinaikos. Looks quite good. Um, another centre back there is also. Um, on a free, so hopefully they can make a difference as we go into uh, the championship and look to strengthen. So we already do have a short list of players um, who look like we could sign them. Um, I don't know why Gareth Barry is on that list. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a different Gareth Barry. Um, I think there's another short list somewhere. Um, default one. Don't even know anymore. But there are a lot of players coming off of their um, season, like running out of uh, contract here. Actually, Shaquille um, Coulthurst is, because his expires in 17, with um, Tottenham. Yeah, there we go. They're both finishing in 2017. So, um, actually, if we look at the championship, Stoke, Leeds and Brighton went up. Um, but as you look down... Charlton get relegated, so we won't be playing them next season. They will be back in League One again, now with uh, Chris Powers as a manager. So, they get relegated again. Um, Premier Division. Arsenal win the trophy, which is a bit strange. Well, actually, no, it isn't. Not this year. Three wins already for them. Uh, we're going to be playing the likes of Aston Villa, Hull and Burnley next year, which is a bit crazy, along with the likes of Derby, Huddersfield, QPR, Watford, Palace, Blackburn, Fulham, who aren't doing too well. But, yeah. Um, thankfully Leeds are going up with uh, Craig Purcell who's in the... look at that Jesus Christ um, but yeah so actually youth contract youth um, system no one good maybe Ben Melverson these see we've got um, two and a half star potential now which isn't bad Stephen McPhillips um, but yeah still generally bad they cancel I, every time I ask for a new um Try, youth facilities, look, they've cancelled it both times on financial bloody grounds, but we've been, look at that, we're doing pretty well financially. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, I'll be back probably February uh, next year, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, it's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.